Hello there and welcome to Let's Animate Tutorial. Um, today I'm going to share to you how I uh, create my animated background. It means we're gonna have our camera movements in Krita version 5 beta or beta or whatever you call it. So I exported my background. The background is quite big. Let me see. I'm gonna move the background or the background. I have separated all my background. The the foreground color, which is the rasterized image, and the um, mid ground. They're all transparent PNG, and the background. These are all big backgrounds, so it means it's bigger than the regular screen or regular um, size of your canvas. So your canvas is 19 by 20, 1920 by 1080 uh, pixels. So this is big. So when you move your camera like this, it's it's re it's quite big. So when you move it like that, like that it's, it's big. So, the first thing we're gonna do is, of course, we, we need to import our um, moving character, the animated character, on another layer. So we're gonna put it in a folder, we're gonna group it. Uh, you, you just click this and then um, quick group or control G. Though. So we're gonna group it, right? We're gonna hide that. And then we're going to the background, the main background, the, the farthest background. Let's make this invisible. So we're going to animate this by moving um, from the back, going to the front. It means going from left, no, from right to left. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is um, right click and then go to um, transform mask add and then transform mask right and then it will create another um, layer I'm gonna turn it invisible or uh, visible it's important to turn it uh, visible so it will work so we're going to, after, after we um, add that, we're going to animation curves down here. I, I put mine here in the timeline. So if you don't have this, go to settings and then dockers. Then it's in here on the second, uh, second menu. So animation curves, turn that on. And then when you have that on, uh, you'll have this um, keyframes on line or whatever you call this so it will show the the number of timelines you, you use for your animation mine is around 228 so this is a looping animation let me show you that it's a looping animation this animation is a loop so whenever I put yellow color on a keyframe it means it's the start of a loop so I loop this like one two three four four times so it's around 228 keyframes right under the transform mask on the first keyframe we need to create uh, an instance so Make sure you select this transform, not the other transform um, tool. So use this one. And then on the first keyframe, press this button here to add keyframe. It will create new keyframe for that transform mask. All right. So you need to let's move, let's zoom out. Let's click the background and then let's set the first um, keyframe so hold shift so it will um, stay in line so there 
So that's the first keyframe. So go to the last keyframe. Where is it? There is it. Last keyframe is 228. And then move it by holding the, by clicking and hold shift and then drag just a little not the entire image not the entire edge to edge so when we start animating on the first keyframe hopefully it will move let's build and it's moving right now we're moving so we started our background animation by panning the background so let's let's make another panning animation this is a multiplane so we're gonna go to another background the background to go add right click and add transform mask we'll do the same thing but this time it's um, much faster than the other animation let's go to the first keyframe I need to click this first this may a uh, few times already by the tutorial so let not not all the way okay not all the way there's the first keyframe and then the second keyframe will be on the last frame click and then whoops whoops there you go whoops whoop. There you go. Sometimes you need to have a faster computer so it won't crash. That's why it's called beta. All right, let's try it again. Let's build, let's save and build. Build our animation. Now we have our panning background, right? After we did that, so we need to make another panning foreground. This one, the last background, this foreground. So on the first keyframe, again, right click, add, transform mask. Now that we have that, and then click this plus sign button for the first keyframe, and then move all the way to the edge this time, because this is much faster moving keyframe, all right? And go to the last frame of the animation, click and drag all the way to the edge there you go now let's see if this will work enter all right let's see our first keyframe let's build and then see let's see if it's gonna work there you go we have our um, Multiplane camera background animation. All right. Now that we have that, let's mix it with our animation. So I have a looping animation of the zombie, but this zombie is quite big, so we're gonna shrink him down. So the zombie, I put it in a group. All right. So I'm gonna right click, add again, transform mask. This way. Um, we're not gonna use the animation now. It's alright if you're gonna modify the animation by adding a keyframe. Like uh, zooming in, like um, moving towards camera. So we're gonna start in the first keyframe. We're not gonna do anything, eh? alright? We're not gonna add the uh, keyframe. We'll just resize this, right? I'm gonna resize. I'm gonna move it down a bit, right? Press enter. All right, let's see if the animation will work. 
Let's build. Will take a while. There you go. We have our animation. So we need to. This is optional, all right. We need to make the foreground a little blurry. This the foreground. This one. Okay. The foreground is the this one that's the foreground right so we need to um, group this we're gonna group the foreground by control G and then above foreground layer we're gonna add a filter layer a filter layer this will preserve your um, image. Um, um, what do you call it? Image uh, state, right? So go to blur, right? And then lens blur. Let's see if the lens blurs. Okay. Look, it's a little blurry, so need more. It's up to you whether you'll uh, blur it more, like extreme blur or not so blur. <laughs> All right, well, I'll just use 10, then click OK. Now, after blurring, let's close that. Let's lock this so we won't uh, touch anything. So we're going to create another layer. Just above our uh, group, create layer, um, filter layer, then it will create a layer just above it, a filter layer, all right? Now we're gonna use uh, other than noise. This is optional, right? So we're gonna use 12% uh, or 12 digit, then click. Okay, now we have our uh, animation with little noise, so it's creepy. We had some. We need to add. Uh, like it better to have it contrasted. Like, uh, let's another filter layer. So let's put some levels. Put some levels. Just to add contrast to your animation like this. There we go. Then click OK. Uh, if you want to color correct it, you can do that too. Um, just add another filter layer. Color adjustment. Uh, if you want a blue, uh, a very high blue, blue color. have our animation so let's save it so if you want to export this as um, an animation a video so we need to render animation uh, use a video and then you make sure you have FFmpeg I'll uh, put the this uh, the link below the description for you to download it and uh, locate it to your computer and then use it and then camera movement and, uh, and that's it uh, just make everything okay here the settings if you want the settings to be baseline it's okay right and then click uh, okay to render your animation Remember that you need to be uh, precise on everything, especially when you're dragging everything by the transform tool. 
so also you need to have a uh, quite faster computer um, to render your animation because sometimes uh, the beta version of Krita, Krita 5 crashes uh, it did it to me a few times but hopefully it will not crash on me today so let's see our uh, camera test if it will work there you go we have our animation it's a looping animation Hopefully you, you learned something today and uh, thank you for the Krita people who are making the development of the software and we can now animate our background inside Krita. So I'll have some more tutorial for this and hopefully you guys will like it and hopefully uh, I'll think of some other things to uh, create uh, using this feature, alright? And I hope you see you next time and bye bye!